Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to make an app that can display time and date like this. To make this program, I'm going to use the PyCharm IDE app, but you can use any other app that you would like. Now, let's get on with the video. So first, let's start by making the function that can return our date and time. And to do this, first you need to import the date time library. So from date time, import date time. And now let's create the function. So def get date time. And so to get the current time, we need to use the now. Let's set this the value to now equal to date time dot now. And so after that, we can start taking the value from our now variable so for example we can get the date by using now or sdr f time and we use percentage so this is our date so we want to this way the day and then percentage m and then percentage y and each of these stand for day month and year now to display our time or like hour minutes and second so let's set our variable to time you go now dot strf time and now we want to put hours so percentage h set semicolons percentage m which stands for minute and percentage s which stands for second and now let's return our date and time so let's try print, printing this value out so print get date time and let's see what it will return for us so let's start and you can see here the current date and the current time display right here so now after that we want to make a app that can display it right we don't want to see the text right here so we will use the tkinter library so to do that we do from tkinter import stars which means we want to import everything and then let's set up our tkinter object so root would go to tk and then to set it in the loop we do root dot main loop and now let's set up our UI. So in this between the root.tk root equal tk and root equal root.main loop. And now let's create a two label, so one for time and one for date. So date label will equal to label and we want to put it in the root and our text will be equal to to date for now and let's set its font equal bracket and let's set it to times font and the font size you can should be anything you like and we'll put 40 for now no actually just 20 and now time label will equal to let's just copy this for short and let's change this to time and let's increase our font a little bit so let's make it double and now let's put it on the root because tkinter need to be able so we need to have a line that can specify so the tkinter can know that you want to put that object onto the root so you can do this by date label dot create and we want it to set it to row equal zero column equal zero and because we want to put our time label under the date label we will copy this line change this to time label and we want to set to row one which is under row zero and now if you run the program you'll see that we have a box right here which have the date smaller than the time and now we need to change the date text right here and time text 
into the value of our date and time which is in here and we also want it to update regularly and to do this we need to use a library called threading so you just need to import threading and now you want to create a class so let's just name this update time so let's create a class named update time and threading dot thread so to specify it's a thread and to set up the thread class you need to so def initialize and super the name of the class which is update time and self and dot initialize and self dot set diamond and even true and self dot recognize text is equal to initial okay so now let's create our get the current date time and put it in our label function so that run and we want to so while true so we want to just to update regularly we want our date label so we want to access the text so we do this bracket right here will be equal to our date and our time label let's put it the same Time they will equal to be time and as you can see there's an error right here so and to fix this you need to get the date time so we use the bracket so we can get both the date and the time right here equal to get date time now all you got to do is call this update time object and also create it so update will equal to update time we'll make sure to have a bracket and finally we run this and let's see okay so there's an error to fix this i forgot we need to put this under our date time so we can so because we didn't define the date label and time label yet and to make sure you can also global date label and date time no not date time but time label so we can access it through our script oh and also move this down there's a lot of error here okay so now this should work if you don't see anything pop up it's because i accidentally used the run so you just need to change this to start and now it's working perfectly and that's it for the video I hope you guys like it if you think this video is valuable make sure to like this video and share this to video to your friends and thanks for watching and bye